hi guys so i am here with a book haul video i'm really excited to share with you the most recent books that i have added to my collection some of them were books that i had pre haul pre pre-ordered um that finally arrived i was actually waiting on a particular book because i knew it was kind of coming out in due um so i didn't want to sit down and record a video and then it arrived the next day or something silly so um yeah finally sitting down to record an actual physical book haul for you guys so the first book is once upon a dream um this is one of the twisted tales books um this was one i was actually missing i don't know how i managed to miss the sleeping beauty one um they, these books are by the author Liz Braswell, um, she's done an Aladdin one, um, she's done a Little Mermaid one, a Mulan one, um, there's quite a collection but somehow I managed to miss the Sleeping Beauty one, um, but my mum was in the supermarket and she found this so she picked it up um, for me. Um, then I have Saga Volume 9, um, eagerly was awaiting for this book to be released um and i had it pre-ordered for months um but it didn't get here until i think about two, nearly two weeks after the release day um i read it in one evening um yeah really really like the saga series even though i'm not a huge graphic novel reader but i really enjoyed this series then i have Muse of Nightmares by Eleni Taylor. This was a book that um, I was really eagerly anticipating. Um, it has orange pages. Um, the cover designs on these books are just so beautiful. Um, as you guys know, Eleni Taylor is one of my favourite authors. I actually haven't read the first book, which was Strange the Dreamer, um, because it was such a long wait between that book coming out and this book coming out. Um, so I was trying to hold off until around the time the second book came out um so now i can delve into the first book um her series um her daughter of smoke and bone series is one of my all-time fa favorite series of life like i love it so much so i'm both looking forward to and scared to pick up this series by her um even though like her writing is just so stunningly beautiful um, but Carew from Dora of Smoking Bone is just one of my favourite characters ever. So part of me is like, can another series by her live up to that hype in my mind of that series? But I'm sure that it will. I just need to get my act together and actually read this series. So I will, hopefully sometime soon. Probably not, um, I'm thinking uh, by the end of this year because obviously November is upon us. Um, so I'm not sure that I will get it read this year but I'm hoping for the early part of next year and then the book that I was waiting to arrive before I sat down and recorded this video was this bad boy Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas the concluding book to the Throne of Glass series um obviously I've had this on pre-order for months and months and months um and I'm actually going to the Kingdom of Ash fan event in London on the 9th of November. I don't know if this video will go up before then or on that day. I don't know when this video is going up. But um, I, I was like, I need to have the book read by the time that I go because obviously it's a fan event. There's going to be discussions. I'm sure there will be spoilers. Um, and then I got a message saying that I wasn't going to get this book until like the middle of November. And I was like, well, that's no good. Like, I need to be reading this book. Um, so I've actually been reading this book on my Kindle um, because I downloaded it the day it came out on my Kindle, which was the 23rd of October. So I could start reading it because this book wasn't going to arrive in time. Um, and then I can't remember what day this arrived, but either way, like it, by the time this book arrived, I would have not got the physical book read in time. This book is 992 pages, something along those lines is 121 chapters um at the time that i am recording this video i am on chapter 103 i am like i want to say like 840 pages is somewhere along that route i can tell you pretty much my bookmark is here 858 page like that's the page i'm on so as you can see that's all i've got left and um 
I've got six days to finish that for the event, which I'm sure I'm going to do. Um, this series is very close to my heart. I started it pretty much like around the time I started my YouTube channel. It was one of the very first books I received for review. Um, I just absolutely love this series. So I'm really sad to see like it end, but so far, not to spoil it for you guys, but it's living up to my expectations so far. As you can see, I've only got a very, very little bit left. Um, so many emotions, guys, for this book. But let's talk about how stunning the cover is. Um, what I love about this edition, there's plenty of editions. Um, mine is just the normal, the normal hardback edition. There are some beautiful editions that I've seen um, in America. Like I think you've got what, a different one for Books a Million, um, a different um, Barnes and Noble edition. I think there's loads of different editions. But my one is just sort of plain. There's no funky end pages or anything. But it does have Sarah J Mass's sort of signature embossed on the front with, um, I'm assuming that's the sword Gabriel, um, which is Aelin's sword. So, um, yes, this was the book I was waiting to arrive so I could record this book haul. But yeah, I actually started that on the day it came out, which is like a first, I think, for me. Now, the next sort of books I've got, guys, really... Um, <clears throat> You guys probably know, I've spoken about it a few times on my channel, how I am on a mission to own every single Lisa Claypus book ever. Now, well, her Regency stuff, I haven't got any of her contempor contemporary books, like I've only got her historical stuff. Um, and I've made some serious headway, and I am so, so glad, guys, that I finally managed to track down these two books. So, Where Passion Leads and Forever My Love. These books are a nightmare to track down. I actually tweeted Lisa Claypus once saying, like, I can't find them. And she said they are out of print. Um, her current publisher had no intention of republishing them or putting them sort of as available on the Kindle. You couldn't even get these in ebook because apparently where these are like her first books, they're very different to the stuff that she does now. So the publisher thinks it's not in keeping with, you know, her current style. So these are out of print. Now, I've had serious trouble tracking them down. Obviously, I've had to buy them used. Um, but when I've tried to get them in the past, people were selling them for like £50, £60. Some I've even seen selling at over £100. So it's been quite hard to track them down. The first one I managed to track down was actually this one, which these books are a duology. Um... And this is the second book in that duology. And I was so ecstatic when this book arrived, guys, because one, it was the right book. When you buy a used book, you always take that chance. And secondly, the condition that it's in, this one looks like it's never been read. But like if you look at the binding there, the spine, there is not like a crease in that spine. It's completely straight. The pages, like, look at that look at that like it's like it's not been read so i was over the moon i paid like six pounds and i managed to get this out of print book in amazing condition so that literally was like ugh, the highlight really and then i finally managed to track down where the passion leads again for about six pounds which was crazy and this one is in a little bit i don't want to say worse condition because for an old used book it's not in bad condition but it's got a little bit more um signs of wear than the other one but again for a used book that's as old as it is um when did this this um lisa claypus wrote this book when she was 22 um so as you can see like it's one of her first novels um the copyright is from 87 so it's a book that this edition is older than i am um and the condition it's in, I really cannot complain. So I was absolutely over the moon with those. Those are the two books of hers that I've been trying to track down for the longest time. So I was so ecstatic about that. Uh, I also managed to track down Give Me Tonight by Lisa Claypus. As you can see, this is another one of her old covers. Got that one. So I'm probably going to be going on a binge <laughs> sometime soon. And then I got Only With Your Love. As you can see, these are really old school mass market um, paperback romance novels. I mean, the price on this in US dollars was 450 when it was published. So gives you an indication of how old these books are. 
um but i've really wanted to own all her books and some of them like i said you can't like they're not um kept in print they're not um republished with new covers not kept up to date so it can be quite hard so i have to settle with the books or the editions that i can so then the when strangers marry by elisa clapus these i think are a duology as well i think they're called the valerian um series so this is in a hardback which is quite unusual um and the sort of the back of it is very typical romance um cover but yeah hard back there so and then the other books that i picked up um are kind of anthologies um where lisa clapus has a story in them I've gone all out for my Lisa Clapers collection. Like I have gone all out. Um, so I have Where's My Hero? So this has stories from three different authors, one of them being Lisa Clapers, one being Julia Quinn, um, and the other being Kinley McGregor, who I've not read anything from. So that will be interesting. Um, so this one is kind of where each author has sort of a Regency series or a historical series. Um, people have asked um, about a side character in that series like where's their story and this is them giving you sort of a story about one of their other characters if that makes sense um so quite excited about that because um jake lindley which is lisa capus's story um is from someone to watch over me which was one of the first books i think yeah the very first lisa capus book i read was someone to watch over me so that's exciting then I've got two Christmas anthologies, which I'm excited for because obviously um, I love trying to read Christmas themed books in December. So now I have some historical romance that's Christmas based to read in December. So this is like my dream right here. So the first one that I have is Wishlist. And this has stories from four different authors. Um, so it has Lisa Clapus, Lisa Catch, Claudia, Dane and Lindsay Sands. And I think I've only read two authors in this anthology, which is Lisa Clapus and Lindsay Sands. Um, but I've never read anything historical from Lindsay Sands. It's always been her Ar Argino vampire series. So excited for that in December. And then the other one that I got is A Christmas to Remember. Um, again, an anthology with four authors. It has Lisa Clapus, Lorraine Heath, Megan Frampton and Vivian Lorette. And I have only read Lisa Clapus. The other authors will be completely new to me, which is quite exciting because it could introduce new historical authors to me. As you guys know, historical romance is kind of my favourite genre. So if it can introduce me to new authors that I'm going to know and love, I'm all for that. Uh, and what's amazing to me about this book is it's an ex-library copy. I bought this one used. Ex-library copy. Um, it has barely been read. It's like they've only read, like, Lisa's book, maybe. Like, because the, the break in the spine stops there. Um, and the pages in it, I would not have said this was an ex-library book. But I know it's an ex-library book because it comes from the Harris County Public Library in Houston, Texas got the little stamp there and this book only came out last year I was looking um at when it was published because obviously I, I hadn't own, owned it god I can't speak today um and it came out October last year um so somehow it's managed to be in a library taken out of circulation and come to me in the space of a year um but yeah it looks hardly read so crazy and then I picked up some more historical romance books but they are not Lisa Clapus, they are Julia Quinn. So, first off, I received this book for review, which is The Other Miss Bridgerton. Oh my god, I can't speak! Um, by Julia Quinn. Now, I haven't read a lot of Julia Quinn books. She's definitely an author I need to read more of her books because I have enjoyed them. But her original Bridgertons series, I've read the first few books in that series and really liked them. But for some reason, I just haven't carried it on. I don't know why. So when this arrived for review, I was like, ah, oh, brilliant. But this is the third book in kind of a series. And even though you could kind of probably read them on their own because each book is, you know, a different couple's story. I was like, I'd really like to start from the beginning of this series. So I ordered um, used um, because of Miss Bridgerton. So this is the first book in that series. Um, and again, this book looks like it's not been read um it's got no damage to the spine the page is nothing it's it's like it's arrived new so really happy with that and then the second book in 
that series is The Girl with the Make Believe Husband. So I picked that one up again. Used this one's got more signs of wear, but no actual damage. Just you just know it's been read. So really excited to delve into that series. But when I was looking for those books, um, I came across um, The Sum of All Kisses by Julia Quinn. And I'm not sure if this is part of a series or not. I actually have to research this, but I bought this one because it's Julia Quinn and two because of the cover. The blues of it just screamed my name and I was like, I'm ordering that. So I actually need to find out if this is the first, second, third book in a series or whatever. But I just loved the colours of it. It gave me massive Cinderella vibes. Um, and again, this one has got signs of being red on the spine, but no real damage to it. It's an amazing condition for a used book. So, And for what I paid for it as well, like the Julia Quinn books, really, I don't think I paid more than £4 for any of them. And this one was 2 99 with free delivery. So I'm not going to moan about that. I did pick up um, The Viscount Who Loved Me by Julia Quinn. I think this is the first or the second book. I'm not entirely sure. In her, um, her original Bridgerton series, which is what I first started reading her books. Um, I've already read this on my Kindle, but it's one of my favourite Regency books that I've read in a long time. Um, and I was like, I really would like to own a physical copy of it. Um, so I did purely for sentimental reasons so yeah that's all the books for this haul guys um there is another book sort of due um it's already I think it's been published already but my physical book has got lost somewhere um they haven't dispatched it yet so I don't know when my next physical book haul will be but there we go. <laughs> so yeah, if you've read any of these books, guys, let me know in the comments down below if any of them are on your wish list. Are any of you currently tackling Kingdom of Ash? Um, no spoilers, but leave comments down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Happy reading.